We are out here today doing what workers have always done when we're under attack. What do we do? What do we do? Put your hands in the air. What do we do? But a few fundamentals. It's about freedom of association, about ensuring that we elect our leaders and we determine how they represent us. No scab administrator will ever be our legitimate leaders. And any of the parasites across the working class or the pretend working class who seek to ally themselves with these scabs will go down in history as some of the most treacherous and some of the biggest betrayers in the history of our movement. And what do we say to them? What do we say to them? What do we say to them? And we know that the consequences of these laws is an end to union democracy. But what Australia has to begin to understand, along with the rest of the world, is that these laws go well beyond, well beyond the nature of their intentions. These laws were never about criminality. There is not a single guilty union official of the CFMEU. It is about handcuffing the fighting militant trade union movement. It is so exceptionally dangerous. They mightn't be able to say the things that they would like to say because of multi-million dollar fines or death set, listen to these prison sentences. But I'm here to tell our leaders, our rightful elected leaders, that those of us in the working class those of us who have elected you to be our representatives, we are going to fight for you. We are going to keep on striking until you're back in your elected positions. We are going to keep on striking until these rotten laws are defeated in the courts and defeated in the streets and until they're meaningless. Yeah. 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 Yeah.